York Knicks have been actively trying to acquire Donovan Mitchell via trade. Obviously, the Utah Jazz, they are in rebuild mode, right? And they don't have to trade Donovan Mitchell, but it looks more and more likely that's going to be the case. And the New York Knicks are the front runner. They are the ones that have the assets that really want to acquire Donovan Mitchell. Although, personally, I don't really understand it. You went and got Jalen Brunson, who is in many ways the same player, the same height, uh, have a lot of the same skill sets. Uh, the only upgrade, I guess, is Donovan Mitchell is more proven. He also has a longer wingspan at 6'10", so maybe he could work something there. But their backcourt would be atrocious defensively. Um, unless Donovan Mitchell could kind of get back to what he was known for when he was drafted, which was defense. So maybe that works out. But nonetheless, the Knicks seem destined to try to acquire Donovan Mitchell. And the Utah Jazz, they just want assets. They want young players, and they want draft picks to rebuild for the future. They got a ton of that in the Rudy Gobert trade and are trying to get the same to the from the New York Knicks. Now, the issue is that the Knicks haven't given enough uh, and that the Utah Jazz want a significant amount of uh, assets beyond what is already offered based on reports per The Athletic. Now, what that is, so far the Knicks have offered Evan Fournier and Toppin as well as five first-round draft picks. Uh, there was a report the other day that the Utah Jazz wanted eight firsts, which is the max number that the uh, the New York Knicks could actually give up. Um, and I said that they'd probably get somewhere between like four or five draft picks. That's just what I think it is. You know, you, you shoot really high and then you work your way down, right? It's easier to go down than it is to go back up. Uh, so that is very likely. The, the five firsts, I think, is, is a starting point as far as the Jazz are looking at. And the Knicks... Once they get those picks, that you know, that's basically the end of it, right? You get Donovan Mitchell, you're happy, you got your players, you got your stars. Time to start looking to, to try to build a contender around them. But Evan Fournier is not on the best contract in the world. And the Jazz, yes, are a rebuilding team. So they're not completely against taking on salary. And maybe they could send Fournier to another team. Maybe a team would be willing to give up, you know, maybe a second or a couple seconds for something like that. Uh, and, you know, you could kind of try to acquire more assets for Fournier. But realistically, it's not a player they're really going to use. It's not a player they really need. Um, it's more so just like here's salary filler. Toppin is a great, young, promising talent. But, you know, you're talking Donovan Mitchell. Now, personally, I don't think Donovan Mitchell is like a superstar or anything by any of those means. I do think he is a proven, you know, star level player. I wouldn't even, I don't even know if I'd say you know, star, maybe more all-star, depending on which one you rank higher. I think he's a, you know, above average player in this league. He's a proven scorer, but outside of scoring, he doesn't offer too much. He's not a guy that is your number one option. He's not a guy that's going to lead your team to a championship. He's not a guy that is really going to change the fate of your franchise. Um, but he is a guy that can give you some serious buckets. Like, if he was next to a guy like Luka, home run. Right, a guy that could go and get you 50 in a playoff game because we've seen him do it. That would be fantastic. But in reality, you know, the Knicks, you have two undersized guards. I get, you know, hey, get the guy that you can get now, and it's better than holding on to the draft picks because you don't want to rebuild forever. I do get it, and I do think the Knicks are going to cave a little bit when it comes to young talent. Now it's just wh who are they giving up? Are they going to give? Are they going to throw in quickly? Are they going to throw in Grimes? Um, there was a report that I want to actually dedicate a video uh, specifically to because I think it's a very interesting point of conversation in and of itself and a little more uh, uh, interesting is uh, RJ Barrett potentially being in the trade because Tibbs uh, prefers to keep Grimes over Barrett. But again, we'll dive into that more in a, in a later video. I'll try to get that video up later today. But sticking with the Donovan Mitchell trade, I just think, you know, if you're looking at Evan Fournier say, you know, quickly and topping, I think that's good. You know, plus the five first, of course. But you get two young guys that you have for your future. Uh, you get, you know, a guy in Evan Fournier that maybe you could flip for like a second or something. And you get five first-round draft picks. Like, what? who's going to offer more than that for Donovan Mitchell? You know, so I think that that's probably what happens. I think they're, you know, a quickly away from that. And if you get a guy like Donovan Mitchell... How value, how valuable is quickly at that point? You know, because now you got basically two guys that can play point guard. You still got Derrick Rose. You keep Derrick Rose. 
you could always find a serviceable backup. Quickly is never going to be the starter if you have Brunson and uh, Donovan Mitchell because neither of them can play like the three spot or something. You know, if Donovan Mitchell was, say, you know, 6'6", six, six, maybe he could play, you know, you could put him at the three and, and then, cool, maybe you start quickly, have Brunson at the two. And then, so I don't think the Knicks losing quickly would be the biggest loss in the world because he's probably always going to be just a bench guy for you. Uh, you know, maybe a six man, stuff like that. But uh, allow him to go to a place to develop better. And, and just, I, I, like I said, I don't think it's a huge impact to throw somebody like that in. I would want to keep Grimes if I could because I think his shooting and just defensive abilities is uh, is very valuable in, in this league, especially for the Knicks, which you're going to need that. You're going to need defense and you're going to need shooting next to Mitchell and, and, uh, and Brunson. So... I would try to keep him if I could, but if you could get, like I said, Toppin, Quickly, Evan Fournier, and five first-round picks, there you go. Like, what what are you going to get more than that? That's already probably too much for Donovan Mitchell, if we're being honest. Um, you know, in your Utah, you get two young guys. You got 30 draft picks, first-round picks. It's a win-win for them. And then Donovan Mitchell, he says goodbye to the Utah Jazz. He goes to the Knicks. He gets to be where he wants to be. The Knicks get their guy to pair with Brunson and R.J. Barrett and the rest of them. And then, you know, the Jazz, like I said, they, they, they're hitting the reset button. They're tanking. They're trying to get Victor. I'm not even going to try to say his last name because I'm going to butcher it uh, miserably. But, you know, they tank for him. They have a bunch of young assets. They got a bunch of young talent. You're in a good position. Start fresh. Rebuild. You got a huge head start. You only need to be right on, like, you know, two or three of the picks. And then you could take the rest of the picks package them, and ship them out to uh, to try to acquire the next disgruntled star, say, three or four years from now, because you know it's going to happen. That's what always happens. Every, like, six months, it seems like there's a new star uh, that's on the trade block, a new player that is worth trading for, and Donovan Mitchell is currently one of those players, you know, and also I think Donovan Mitchell will be the first domino amongst many dominoes. Now, Kevin Durant could also be that first domino, but I think regardless, we need a domino to fall. I think once one falls, we'll start seeing the others start falling shortly after. Like, So if Donovan Mitchell gets traded for, say, five firsts quickly, uh, you know, Fournier and Toppin, like, then that kind of gives the Nets an idea of like, okay, well, what is Kevin Durant worth? You know, which could drive the asking price, you know? So at that point, it's like, okay, well, we, we should be getting six first-round draft picks or eight first-round draft picks. So it could also make things worse. Um, but nonetheless, I think I do think this deal gets done sooner or later. I do think the Knicks have engaged enough and is trying. And we keep hearing the, the conversation change as far as like what they're willing to offer. The, the ante keeps getting higher and higher. I think sooner or later the Knicks are going to cave. And I think it'll be closer to training camp. So within the next like couple of weeks, I think Donovan Mitchell will be a Nick. I don't think that the, the Knicks have been working this hard to try to acquire Donovan Mitchell just continuously are in the trade discussions to not land him, to just walk away and just say we're not going to do it. Um, so I do. I think that they meet in the middle. Either they give up all the firsts or they give up a guy like Quickly. And it's like, here, you get you get two young guys, and then you get your salary filler because we need to match salaries, and then you get five first-round draft picks. Like, come on, what's what, – what do you? What more are you gonna get than Mitchell? Like if I was them, I'd be like, okay, go else, go look elsewhere, find somebody that's willing to give you two young prospects and talents and five first round draft picks for Donovan Mitchell. You go find that. You know that like at some point you gotta play hardball, right? And then tell them, you know, when it when you come back because nobody else wants to offer you more than that, then now it's four firsts. You know, or three firsts, you know, and then you know, if you don't want to take that, then okay, well, the next time you come back, you get, you don't get quickly. So now it's Evan Fournier topping in three firsts. Like, you know, like at some point you got to play the hardball game, right? You got to say, okay, enough's enough. But these are how negotiations go, right? Start high, work your way down. Eventually you meet in the middle. And I think the middle will be a guy like quickly because I really think they're going to want to keep Grimes. Um, and I think quickly is the. I think quickly he's going to end up being the odd man out. Because like I said, you don't have the need for him anymore if you go get a guy like Donovan Mitchell. Because your your guard spots are pretty much locked up. So move off of him. There you go. And you're good. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. So I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below.
What do you think? Do you think that they, yeah, they meet in the middle? Maybe they throw in a quickly. Do you think no? Do you think the Nets or the Knicks should even trade for Donovan Mitchell? Do you think like, because like I said earlier in the video, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. I think, you know, you already got your Donovan Mitchell-esque player, but for whatever reason, the Knicks seem like very determined and very adamant to go and acquire Donovan Mitchell. Um, do you think they should? What do you think they should give up? Do you agree that like, yeah, quickly, if you go get Mitchell quickly, he becomes a lot more expendable. You're better off keeping Grimes and the other young guys, uh, keep RJ, that kind of thing. However you feel about it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, follow by the bell notification, stay up to date with all things sports, join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.